Similar to the flat in the setup, only difference here for the dumbbell is to incline the bench a little bit. So set your bench up at an incline of around 30 degrees and lie back down and perform the fly as you would for a flat bench, paying extra care to not overstretch when you bring the weights down or back. When doing it with bands or a cable machine, position the cable handles between your knees and hips, grasp the handles, embrace your core, then step out into a stance you find comfortable. I usually take on a staggered stance for heavier sets. Allow your arms to slowly open, moving downward and outward to your sides. Maintain a slight bend in your elbows, neutral wrist, so pretty much your wrists aligned in a straight line with your forearms and do not allow your hands to move past the midline of your body or the level of your armpits. Exhale gently, slowly squeeze your chest muscles to bring your arms forward until your hands meet level with your face or above your head. Maintain the slight bend in your elbows, neutral wrist position again, vertical alignment of your trunk throughout the entire movement. And then slowly return to your starting position, allowing your arms to move back outwards in a slow controlled manner. So for both the dumbbell and the cable or band setup, the concept that you want to address is the slight bend at your elbows. Don't keep them locked out and don't put them at a 90 degrees. It's just very slight between. And obviously here on the band setup, it looks slightly different, but that's just because of the angle of the resistance.